Well, so uh, it's end of the year and uh, I couldn't choose a better time to actually wear this sweater because this sweater is actually, it says binary living way and it's the old logo. It's the first logo that I used for the BLW signals group that it's now called BLW, but used to be called binary living way. That's the initial, that's what it stands for. And uh, I couldn't choose a better day to actually uh, make this video. Uh, today is December 23rd at the time that I'm actually recording this video, but for you guys it's actually Christmas. I was planning to do a live streaming for uh, December 25th, but uh, I assumed that there were going to be too many people busy, like spending time with their family, and that's exactly what you should do. You shouldn't be on YouTube um, like 50 minutes, you know, you can watch this video later on if you want to as long as you watch it, because I got something really important to tell you. This video is not even going to have an intro. It's just going to be talking to you and uh, telling you exactly what's inside of me right now and uh, trying to talk about the things that we've been going through this 2019. And I know it's not New Year's and New Year's, up, I'm definitely going to have a different video but right now it's christmas right in my country they celebrate christmas probably in your country's hanukkah or something else i don't know it doesn't really matter what you celebrate what you believes are it doesn't matter i don't really have any preference as to anything you know i do believe that there's a higher power i don't know which one is it but i do believe there's a higher power i'm not religious or anything uh but I, and one of the most important things I believe is that uh, we got to be thankful. I don't know exactly to who or to what because uh, we might be being thankful to, I don't know, Mother Nature, to life, to universe, to God, to a higher power. I don't know. But uh, one thing that I understand is that we have to be thankful. And uh, in this specific like small video, I don't know how small it's going to be because uh, it's not like I have like topics planned or anything, but I want to tell you a small part of my story so that you understand exactly where I come from, because you probably know some of it, but you got to understand how important these dates are for me now as an adult and now in the place that I'm at right now. And... Um, this is going to be this is going to become very 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 um personal okay and i know there's going to be a bunch of dislikes because people are like whoa we want to make you we want to see you making money not sharing your feelings or something like that but it's fine but this video is dedicated for you my true follower uh you the one that have been like with me i don't know for how long but you've enjoyed every part of my content and you've enjoyed those personal videos that i've shared during this year uh and i want to talk about when i was a, a a kid when i was like i don't know like seven probably eight nine ten eleven twelve uh 13 14 15 uh 16 uh, yeah like around 16 17. All of those years, which were like about 10 years, I hated Christmas, okay? Why? Because uh, back then, I used to live with my father. By the way, my parents are divorced now. I used to live with my both of my parents, but my father used to drink too much, you know? He used to be not an alcoholic, but he liked to pour, party too hard, I, I would say, you know? Because he would just go away and come back one or two days later, like like nothing happened, you know, spent all of the uh, money that we're, we, my, my mom and my brothers were supposed to use for food or something. He used to waste it, like getting drunk and then he will come back like nothing happened. Everything continued to normal. And it's completely normal. I think like there's many people in worse situation. That's why I don't really feel sympathy for myself or anything like that. However, there were moments like that I remember clearly and there, those were moments uh, and um, Christmas. And let me tell you why. Uh, cousins and other family members, friends from a neighbor and everything, they used to be stable like uh, financially. Their families used to be stable financially. And here we have a bunch of traditions 
uh, traditional food, traditional activities, traditional this, traditional that. And all those traditions actually cost money. We didn't have any money. There were some times where there was no food to actually eat. There were days that I didn't eat. You know, I knew there wasn't food in there. So the best option was to actually go to sleep so that you could not think about being hungry and just forget about food for at least a day, right? Next day we would see, we would see what we could do in order to get something to eat. So it's kind of complicated, uh, like there were kind of complicated times. That's my point. And Christmas specifically, it was even worse because in Christmas, everybody is used to spend the money and they don't care if they have the money or if it's a credit card or is a loan, they don't care. So let's say for instance, that I was in here with my old shoes, my old pants, um, with no money in my pocket, with my, no money to actually buy something to eat. And there was my friend in here, my cousin in here, my uncle in here, everybody with new clothing, with bunch of money, like buying food, buying, uh, uh, what's it called? Fireworks and stuff like that, spending money. And I used to see it, you know? And back then, uh, I didn't think of it like the way I'm thinking right now, but back then it kind of hurt. You know what I mean? And, uh, it kind of made me realize about the difference in society and the difference in mentality of, of people like, that were so close. You know, we, we, we used to spend time every single day. We used to spend hours and hours playing uh, soccer, playing video games or whatever. But then I, in, in, in those moments, I, I was realizing that we were so different. And now this is what uh, I realized. Hold on, because I gotta drink some coffee. Um, here's the here's the hard part, or here's the uh, tough part, is that um, the way I see it is that those people didn't have feelings. They didn't care that there were people around them without the same opportunities they had. And they didn't know how much they were hurting my feelings by looking at other people having such a good life while I was having such a terrible life. And I don't, I don't wanna keep this video too long. What's my point here? My point is that nowadays I realize that if I can spend money, if I can buy expensive clothes, and if I can uh, buy whatever food I want, I don't have to do it in front of those who can't. I'm not saying, hey, um, we should go and buy food everyone because probably we don't have the money for it. It's because we have worked hard to buy good stuff for us and it makes us feel good. Like, hey, I achieved a certain level where I can buy myself a nice pair of pants. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you should go and we should go and buy everyone something. What I'm saying is try to look around before you actually show off, okay? Cause, um, and I see it now still happening. You know, I see people taking the bus, like all dirty because sweaty, cause they've been working all day in here. And next to them, there's a, uh, I don't know, a 19, uh, uh, what's it, 2019, uh, BMW like next to it and they don't even let them go across the street. They, they're like, you know what I mean? It's uh, humanity is sucks. Okay. We're terrible as human beings. We're terrible. And nowadays I realize like, Hey, you know what? It's not cool to buy expensive food next to someone who can't afford it, who can't have any food, you know? So if you have $100 this Christmas, this Hanukkah, these holidays, and you have a friend or you have a family member who you know that don't have the same possibilities or is going through bad times, just make sure you spend $50 on you and $50 on him or her, okay? Trust me, life is gonna pay you back. They all, it always do. Life is an amazing, uh, what accounts payable they all life always pays you with a bunch of interest okay 
if you have kids, it's not like you have to buy them everything because sometimes you can't. I know my parents wanted to buy me everything, but they couldn't. But if you have kids, don't focus on hiding the rough times. Don't hide. Don't be like, don't, don't talk to the kids about not having money. Hey, don't tell the kids that we don't have money for pants. Because when you're a kid, sometimes you think your parents don't want you instead of they can't. Go straight and talk to your kids. You can't imagine how much I would appreciate it when I was a kid that my parents set me down and said like, hey, you know what? We don't have money. Your, your cousin has money, but that doesn't matter, okay? It's not important. You know, try to, try to explain things so that I could understand it instead of me uh, making up my mind and thinking what I wanted to think and, I don't know, become like a hater because I was a hater when I was a kid. I was in gangs, I, I, I started to do bad things because I was mad at a life or whatever. So if you have kids, try to be honest with them, try to give them as much as you can. And uh, don't get me wrong, when I say trying to give them as much as you can, it doesn't mean spend more money. Time is more important than money. Experiences are more important than money. So if there's a playground somewhere where you almost never take your kids, take them there, okay? Try to do a simple family stuff together. Try to paint a room, buy a gallon of paint, of, uh, paint or whatever, and just paint a room together. Time is worth way more than money. But if you don't have the financial stability right now to give something to your kids that you want to give them, because we always want to give them something, right? Try to give them something more valuable. Time, advice, and memorable experiences. I hope this really makes sense. I know this, is a, this isn't a happy video for Christmas, but I know you, you understand the feeling, okay? Nowadays, I'm over here. Uh, I make six figures a month, and uh, back 20 years ago, when I was uh, nine, trust me, I really thought that I was going to be a gang leader, and I was going to die, I was going to get shot somewhere, like around 15 or 20 or whatever, and that was my life when I was nine, that's what I thought, like, this is, this is what I live, why, because I come from a very dangerous neighborhood, so there's gangs in there, you know, and, and I got to be there too because I don't have any choice. But if, if you're in that position as a parent, like you have a kid in that position, it's still, there's still enough time to actually save him from that destiny. So uh, take some time to actually think about this. And uh, like I said, I don't care if you dislike this video. I really don't care. Because I know that if you're in the position where you understand what I'm saying, like you, you, you actually been there or you know someone who's been there, you're going to know exactly how powerful it is to listen to the right words at the right time. And uh, don't get me wrong. I wish you to have an amazing Christmas, an amazing holiday time, an amazing Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate. And if you don't celebrate anything, because I don't celebrate anything, but it's, it's, it's a good time for holidays, you know. You see happiness in, in some people's faces. You don't see that much happiness probably in some other people. But you do see more happiness than usual in people's faces when you're on the street. So it kind of makes you feel better. Because it's like, even though it's like super fast, you know, the, the happiness feeling, you still feel it. And it's, it feels good to actually be with the people you love, okay? So try to look at it this way. It is a happy time and it's a good time to actually spend with the people you love because you don't know if next year they're going to be around anymore or we are not going to be around. We don't know that. So try to spend the, the time with the people you love. Try to share as much as you can, okay? If you can do the 70-30 thing, Keep yourself 30% and give away 70%. Do it. This is the best time to actually do it. Kids, this is the worst time for kids who are in poverty. This is the worst time for kids that don't have their, both of their parents. And this is the worst time for kids that are not happy. The worst. 
as a kid, when you see other kids laughing and having a great life, apparently, of course, because you'll, you'll, you'll see the outside. But when kids see other kids laughing and everything, their sad becomes stronger. Their sadness, they become even sadder. So try to share, okay? This is not a time to spend or waste. This is a time to share. So try to share as much as you can. I hope you like this video. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you, you celebrate. Uh, I know I'm going to see you next year. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to see you tomorrow, by the way, because I'm posting a video every day. But uh, try to keep this video somewhere where you can rewatch it every time you're about to spend some money and your neighbor doesn't have that money. So if you can make a huge dinner and uh, your neighbor can't, make sure you actually invite them to dinner, okay? Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found value on it, make sure you smash the like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. We usually don't talk about this stuff in this channel, um, but I wanted to share it with my subscribers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, happy holidays. I'll see you next time.